So I asked him what's different in the kitchen. And she's. I don't know. Don't think too hard. I don't know, honey. Don't bust your school out, trying to get. Girl, it's nothing. <laughs> Ain't nothing to be changed. Yes. It's nothing. Maybe you should put them glasses behind you on, Velva, and you might be able to see. You have to take one more guess. I had two guesses already. <laughs> <laughs> Why you pop it off? <laughs> Yo, I'm crying. Hello. There's nothing in here. <laughs> <laughs> don't come for me in my house. <laughs> I don't know. You have to take one more guess and then I'll tell you. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> take one more guess and then I'll tell you. It is nothing to guess. I didn't guess <laughs> I have no clue. Okay, take at least one more guess and I'll tell you. You being in here. <laughs> oh! I changed your wine rack. How was that? Was that Jack over here? You looked over here? Oh. I don't know if you had your glasses on. <laughs> and the car to be returned. Oh. The other one only held three bottles. So she got me this one for my registry. It holds seven bottles. That was a hard one. It wasn't that hard. I guessed two things that were correct. Yeah, you did. <laughs> then I finally changed the day on this. <laughs> and then I put this hint soap here. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics. And I'm here with you guys today with another day of Vlogmas 2022. Today is Vlogmas day 24. Can you guys believe we're almost at the end? Vlogmas is almost over. I'm kind of sad about it, but at the same time, I'm just like, baby, this has been a long month, okay? <laughs> it has been. So before we get into today's video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your bell notifications, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So today is Sat Friday? Today's Friday, December 23rd. Today is my niece Alex's birthday. Happy birthday, girl. Love you, Pookie. She be watching some of my videos. I don't know. But I called her this morning and wished her happy birthday. So I'm just sad I'm not with her today. But it's okay. So today is Friday, as I mentioned. And we just been in the house chilling. It's currently 2.30 p.m. And we haven't went anywhere yet because... Long story short, if you guys have been keeping up with my moving vlogs, I ordered a zest from Amazon from the brand Nathan James. It came... It was a headache to assemble it. I'm just like, I gotta go back. So I called Amazon, told them, you know, come collect their belongings. And they um, connected me with a company that they used to pick up furniture or like larger, heavier items. And come to find out, they connected me with the company that was Canada based for some reason. So I called him back the other day because I had some other things to return to that I had questions about. And the guy was like, oh no, that's who we use in Canada. That's not the person we use in the U.S. So I'm like, no wonder why it's a month later and they haven't emailed me yet to schedule a pickup. So he connected me with the company that is U.S. based and they're supposed to be coming today between 12 and 3 to come pick up the desk. So the desk is like 75% assembled and I'm like, I'm not breaking this down. I don't have the box anymore. So they basically come and pick up the item 
as it is so they're gonna come pick up the desk and it'll be out of my garage i'm just trying to clear my garage y'all because when i say i was starting to look like a storage unit and i'm like it's not giving that so that has to be picked up and then i have some things to return to amazon and after that my garage should be pretty much clear which i'll be happy about so they're supposed to come pick up the desk soon and after they come we are planning to go to ollie's and trader joe's it is freezing in houston can y'all hear me it is freezing in houston yesterday i told y'all that they issued a freeze warning and i'm like people always panicking they always saying things da, 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 da. no this time they were being very truthful it is cold i went to sleep at 6 p.m last night and i woke up at like 2 a.m for a while and then i really woke up at like 9 a.m the wind was gone and bad outside like when i say bad i mean bad and it was like 12 degrees no it was like 18 degrees and it felt like four or something like that and i'm just like so i don't even know what i'm gonna put on today because i have coats here but i don't have like heavy coats because i love all my heavier coats in new york because i didn't expect houston to get this cold like literally it's warmer in new york than houston right now like so that's what's going on i even had to cut on the heat y'all i had to cut on the heat and if you know me you know i don't cut on heat i don't cut on ac okay when it comes to my home, I'm giving the father from Everybody Hates Chris. I'm giving Jason from um, The Game. I'm giving Mr. Krabs. I'm giving the budget is very low, okay? I'm very conservative when it comes to things around the house. <laughs> just because I'm just like, why am I paying for heat when I could just put on 12 ropes? Like, I just, <laughs> I just don't get it. But it was really cold this morning, so I had to cut the heat on. So y'all can tell how cold it is. But that's what's going on this morning. I edited Vlogmas Day 23, and I put that up. So I hope you guys are enjoying that video. And tomorrow's going to be the last day of Vlogmas. And then I'm also going to upload my Christmas vlog on the 26th. So that'll make up for the day 14 that I missed the Vlogmas. And then we are done. I'm in bed right now. I've just been, like, planning things i'm planning content i'm planning life i'm planning so much more so that's what's going on i'll be back once i get up from the bed and yeah y'all the people them are here to get the dance so we could finally go outside today let me let me bring it oh yeah it's so free yeah i just need a quick signature right here for the the guy was like, he, he got, did you got a picture of this already? Of what, the paper? Oh, the paper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, no problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It is cold. <laughs> First off, he wanted to just have on a hoodie talking about it's cold. Duh, poppy. It's 20 <laughs> degrees outside. <laughs> What you mean it's cold? Yeah. Are you really cold? Why do you have a hoodie on? Ollie's. This one is a little farther away, but we want to see what they have in here. Margie's fave store. Y'all, this wind is no joke. Like, knowing how to drive is one thing, but knowing how to drive when it's windy? Oh, babes. <laughs> they have so many books in this one. See, y'all know I've been on my little book kick. Oh no, this is animals. Oh, over here maybe? Mad air fryer book. with a game color and book y'all remember the show i'm dead 299 <laughs> in case the girls want to know <laughs> and we also have this book um, oh. best house to visit in the usa key west yeah but i know it's key west grand island where's this um michigan oh interesting michigan. Oh, Niagara Falls. 
Okay, astrology. That's me. Star signs explain for wisdom and success. What is this? No. Not eye cheap, but they have so many um plugins. Carson and small spaces, so I kinda wanted some plug-in. Let me smell these. They don't have many options, but this one is morning and zoo. I think I like this one better. It's like more calm. It's my battery blinking for me. I hope my other one is charged. Candles look cheap. Ollie's good stuff, cheap. Wearing my favorite everyday sneakers, these Nike React. You have the dot? Okay. At gmail.com. Gmail <laughs> Look at you know your email address. Another day, another thrift store. Yeah, I cannot make up the day that I had. <laughs> so. We went to Ali's, we went to Goodwill. Everything is cool. And it was when we were pulling into Goodwill, but I was just like, mm, shouldn't be no pressure. My low tire pressure came up on my dashboard. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll deal with this when I get out of Goodwill. Like one thing about me is I don't like dealing with things immediately. I like putting things off until I can't put them off anymore, which is something that I know I need to change. So that is gonna be one of my New Year's resolutions. But either way, we leave Goodwill. I'm like, I bet we have like a 30 minute drive home. So let me stop somewhere to put air in my tires. So look for a tire shop nearby. They're all closed. I'm just like, why are things closed at 7 p.m.? So I went to Exxon gas station, the tire ear thing, it wasn't working. Like literally the whole pump was off of it. It was just a rubber hose. <laughs> so I went to the shell, which was like a block away. Get to the shell. Yeah, I ain't never put air in a tire before. I think I did one time. I think I did one time when I used to get rentals years ago, but either way, I ain't never put, like, I've never been solely responsible for putting it in my tires. And three out of four of my tires were on 28 PSI. And it said to fill them until they were 36 PSI. So I get it. I know it happened because the temperature here dropped so much. Like, it's literally freezing cold outside. I felt like I was in Binghamton, New York, which is where I went to college. But I'm like, okay, cool. You know, it shouldn't be too hard to put air in a tire. When I tell you I was there struggling, I was there struggling. First of all, you pay the $2 and the thing don't be on long enough. Like, you could only reach three tires and then I had to, like, you know, reverse my car to get to the fourth tire. So, I had to keep putting money in the damn machine. Thankfully, I was using my car because, <laughs> if you know, you know. Anyway, so, um... I ended up like going inside and I asked the guy inside like, hey, can you help me put air in my tires? The first guy, he seemed like the owner of the gas station. He's like, no, I'm the only person here, blah, 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 blah. So after I realized I wasn't doing it right, I basically wasn't pushing like the thing. I was just putting the circle thing on my tire, if that makes sense. Anyway, I go back inside after I realized I done fed the machine $4 and 
my PSI is still the same. Like it's not showing that any air entered my tire and I gave the machine $4. So I go back inside and there's a different guy there now. So I'm like, okay, he can't say he the only one here because the other guy just said he the only one here. And one plus one equals two. Your girl know how to do math. I may not know how to put ear in a tire, but I know how to do math. So I go back inside and I ask the other guy like, hey, can you help me put ear in my tire? And he seems like more welcoming, but you could tell that he was, he felt like threatened by the other guy. Like if he comes out, the other guy is going to say something to him. So the other guy comes out like, oh, you couldn't figure it out. And I'm like, no, that's why I came back inside. So he's like. He's looking around and he tells the guy, like, you could go. So he comes out and he's, like, helping me. But mind you, he has just a polo shirt on. So I wanted to ask him, like, you sure you don't want to put a jacket on before you come outside? And he just came with his polo on. I'm like, I'm not asking nobody no questions. Just come help me put the air in my tires so I could go home. So he comes outside and then he's like, I'll be back. I'm going to go get a jacket. And I'm like, I just put my money in the machine. Like, it's running. And it only runs for a certain amount of time. So he's like showing me how to do it. And he was helpful. I will say that. But the other guy. His dick rotten ass. <laughs> came out like. Oh we have a customer. I did not see one car pull up to that gas station. Talk about we have a customer. For the guys to come take him. You can take him. You're not doing anything. But acting like the boss. So anyway. He like helped me out a little. He was showing me like. Um, that the garage is supposed to go up. To know that the air is entering the tire and that you basically have to press it until you can't hear the air going into the tire anymore and then he was telling me like you don't want to fill it up too much because like as you're driving it's going to inflate itself so i'm just like okay i'm gonna try to do what i could do so i ended up filling them until they were like 34 33 and 34 and then when i was driving home two of them went up to 38 one is 35 and one is 37 so in the morning, I'm going to go to a tire shop and figure it out. But I'm just like, why would this happen to my car right now? Right now. Right freaking now. Mind you, it's windy as hell outside. And I told y'all that driving, when it's windy outside, is a mother freaking task. Especially for a girl who does not drive that often, okay? So, it was just a lot. It was just a lot. It was so many things that were happening back to back to back. And I'm like, Lord, just get me home safely. So... I just feel like when you buy a car, there needs to be like a hand, a one-on-one -on -one handbook, like how to, like when you know when to fix your tires, when to get an inspection, how to put freaking ear in your tires. So if you guys have any tips, comment down below and just let me know. I'm new to this. I'm not true to this. I'm open to opinions. I'm open to assistance. I'm open to tips. Just let me know down below. And that is basically going to be the end of this vlog. This vlog isn't too long just because the day was a bust i was supposed to do so many other things and after that i'm just like i just want to get home i just want to get home so this is the end of today's vlog if you guys made it until the end comment down below with a car emoji <laughs> comment down below with the car emoji give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment down below and i will see you guys tomorrow